ending to his open practice session last week, beginning to make his way toward the front of the field, just outside of the top five in car number nine. Trump Corey out. goes to the inside, takes the four spot away from Zach Robinson. They are really bottled up from about eighth on back. They certainly are, and among the cars bottled up, it is Adam Gray whose car suddenly became evil. Just as I say that, Butler and Gray come together, and Butler literally at one point rolled up on the number 97 car. The 89 car has a tire, looks to be going down on the Zach Robinson oh, car. Oh, Kevin gets turned in turn two, and around he goes. With Keeps a little it. bit of help, keeps his foot in the throttle and will lose two spots with Keane taking second, Corey third. Here comes Sturt now to the inside as around goes Gamba Corda. May have had some help there from Paul Varecchio. A lot of drivers looking to get in the victory lane for the first time in their career up front. Sturt to the outsider, Robinson to turn one for the first time. Here is Alex Fern right to the bottom of the racetrack. Car number 12 to the point by the time they get oh. the three and gets turned in the face of the field. Heartbreaking situation there. Saunders for the battle for the fourth and fifth position. Off the turn, back up front. Stern slips up just a bit. Here comes Saunders. Going, going, gone. He's come back to the front. He's on the podium, but he races to win. Oh, trouble turn number three. Couple cars go piling in. At least four cars get collected. Corey being one of them. Caution and red flag immediately. Verrecchio. Back in the thick of things. Off turn number four. Twirling twos are in the air. One mile left. Two laps to go. Gamba Corda making his move now here on the front straightaway, but not enough room on the bottom, or is there? There is in turn two to the inside of Cliff Saunders. New race leader Kevin Gamba Corda goes to the point. Two races already held this season. Gets out of shape there in turn number three while challenging for third. Slides up the racetrack, still digging hard to the inside of Meyer. And here's the battle for the lead. Gamba Corda to the inside of Durand in turn two. New leader looking to go two in a row is Kevin Gamba Corda in car number 23. He does it with, with style and finesse as Andrew Duran has reeled him in. Makes a bit down low, Fern shakes him off. Little bit of contact there in turn number two with Duran peeking to the inside of Tom Fern who is trying to control that inside lane. Duran opens the door on the bottom, side by side for the lead, coming to halfway, 15 laps down, 15 to go, and Fern hangs on to the race lead for now. Fern continues to try to guard the number one position. Andrew Duran had it to the inside for a while, Forced to back out of it. Maybe he's going to change his strategy. Chris Meyer is there. Duran taps on the back bumper of Fern. Back to the strike. And as they race hot and heavy for the race lead, it's allowing Meyer to close in. It's allowing Saunders to close in. Corey and Gamba Corda, top six, snapping back together. You can move Gamba Corda up to the fifth spot as Buffoni slid back out of the top five. Race for the lead again. Duran to the inside, Burn to the outside. At the line, new leader by a half a car length. Andrew Duran goes to the front with 13 to run. Two got shuffled to the outside lane, and now out of the top five as Corey goes to his inside in car 10. Paul Verrecchio is there, ready to pounce in car number 39. On car number 92, Verrecchio three wide for that fifth spot to the inside of Burn, to the inside of Corey. 
Vecchio will take that fifth spot away as that allows the top four to break away.